Hello everyone, Devjyoti here from OECD.com and today in this video tutorial, I am going to teach you how to create a custom made my account page for the WooCommerce by using Elementor Pro. As you can see, that is the default home page what WooCommerce provided. It's really looking ugly. So in this tutorial, I am going to teach you how you can convert this my account page to this kind of professional looking my account page and this my account page is totally responsive and mobile friendly so for creating this page first of all let me come back to the website so from there let me come back to the dashboard so as you can see here i already installed the woocommerce so for that if you come back to the pages here you can see default my account page if you click in the view option so as you can see here this page is really looking very ugly so for creating custom my account page you have to come back to the dashboard now come back to the plugin so as you can see here i already installed and activate the elementor plugin now i have to activate the elementor pro version you can easily buy the elementor pro plugin from elementor.com but as you can see here the price is really high you have to pay at least 49 dollar per year don't worry just pause the video and go to the video description there i'll give a free download link of the elementor pro by clicking on that you can download the free gpl version for the elementor pro and you can use that easily in your website and after that you have to come back to this plugin and from there you have to click in this add new option after that you have to click in the upload plugin from there you have to click in the choose file so here you can see the file elementor pro by webseo tip just you have to click in the open and after that you have to click in the install now option so as you can see here installation in progress after installing you have to click in the activate plugin option for activating the plugin so after that i have to create a new page over on the page and after that you have to click in the add new option so from that you have to give the page name i am giving the page name as my account page and after that i have to click in the publish option after publishing you have to click in this edit with elementor option next this page will open so from there first of all you have to click in the plus option i am taking single row and two column next just drag it like that and the right hand side column make it 20 percent after that i have to click in this edit option for the session after that you have to come back to the advanced option from there you have to unlock the padding padding top i am taking around 90 and padding bottom i am taking around 150 next I have to come back to the style option so here you have to click in the gradient option as you can see here there is a gradient option click on that the first color i am taking this one and the second color let me take this one next what you have to do click in this plus option drag and drop the heading here my heading will be my account from there i have to come back to the style option from the text color i have to make it white color after that click in the typography let me take it around 30 and the font weight i am making it 400 after that again i have to click in this drag and drop the heading here again now my heading will be user and html tag i am taking h5 after that i have to come back to the advanced option click in this unlock padding top padding i am taking around 15 pixel after that here you can see the width i have to make it inline auto come back to the style option make it white color next again i have to click in this and from there again drag and drop the heading here like that next what i have to do from the navigator drag the second heading downside i mean like that next i have to click in this dynamic tag from there i have to come back to the site and after that i have to click in the user info next i have to click in this gear icon and from there i am choosing username next i have to come back to the html tag and i have to make it h5 come back to the style option first of all make it white color next i have to click in this advanced option and after that here you can see the width i have to make it in line or next unlock the padding and padding top i am taking around 15 oh i think i have to give some gap so click in this edit option for this setting come back to the content here give a clone and after that give a space after that click in the second one and here the padding left i am taking around 15 pixel now it's looking good so after that i need this text i mean this one so let me come back here again click in this nine dot drag and drop the title again here like that and after that my title content will be this one and after that html tag make it span come back to the style option click in this i have to make it white color and after that i have to click in the typography from here i am making it 20 and font weight i am making it 400 come back to the advanced option unlock the padding after that padding top i am taking around 10 pixel next i have to click in this plus option here drag and drop the image here like that next i have to click in this dynamic tag option from there here you can see the user profile image click on that next i have to come back to the style option so in the style here you can see the border radius i have to make it percent and from all side let me take 50 so as you can see here it automatically fits the user profile image next i have to click in the plus option let me take single row and single column after that i have to click in the plus option here 
and after that let me search for the account so here you can see the my account just drag and drop it here like that next the layout position i have to make it horizontal after that here you can see so many tabs if you want to change the tab title always you can do that suppose at the place of the order i want it should be your order so you can write your order as you can see here it's automatically changed to your order next here you can see the tab position i have to make it center because i want everything should be center aligned next i have to click in this edit section option come back to the advanced option unlock the margin margin top i am taking 62 but it should be in minus i think 60 will be perfect or 59 so next again i have to click in the edit option come back to the style option first of all let me click in the typography from here let me make it 16 pixel and the font weight i am taking 400 next for the normal click in this after that i have to click in the color option from there i am choosing the white color let me decrease the opacity a little bit i think that's perfect next i have to click in the color option from here i have to make it white color after that come back to the hover so here also i have to click in this click in this and from here suppose i am taking this color after that i have to click in the box shadow let me check okay the shadow figure is coming perfectly let me make it 5 in horizontal and the blur let me make it around 6 next the color i want the color should be this okay now as you can see everything coming perfectly after that i have to come back to the active option so from here click in this background color i am taking for pure white color and after that the color let me take this color okay now everything coming perfectly it's really looking cool after that scroll down a little bit here you can see the spacing just make it zero now scroll down directly come back to the typography because in the section actually no need to edit anything so let me come back to the typography directly click in this typography and the size i am taking 18 next for the general text also click in this and the size i am taking 18 pixel next scroll down a little bit so here you can see the link color i am changing the link color to this blue color after that let me click in the form for seeing the form actually you have to come back to the account details because in the account details only there is a form so from there actually i want to change the button color so for the scroll down so here you can see the button background color click in this and from here i am choosing this color so as you can see here the color gets changed already remaining i am keeping as it is now scroll down let me click in the order detail even here also let me open your order so there actually nothing in order if there was something in order you can see that but there is nothing so nothing is displaying so from there what i have to do the row gap i have to make it 9 next i have to click in the typography and here let me take 17 pixel close it here also I have to click in the typography here also I have to make it 17 pixel next here you can see the product link color suppose I am taking this color next divider make it solid and width I am taking one now come back to the button so in the button click in this and the background color of the button suppose I am taking this color and the text color that will be pure white color scroll down again here actually you have to unlock the padding padding top let me take around 15 padding right I am taking 20 padding bottom I am taking 10 and padding left I am taking 20 after that I have to click in the update option you will get this kind of notification click in the save option now let me check the mobile preview also click in this so that is my tablet preview in the tablet preview i think everything is looking quite perfect click in this and after that unlock the margin and margin top let me take around 60 but it should be in minus you have to adjust little bit as you can see here 58 is coming properly here now again let me click in this i think i don't need that much padding in top and bottom side so first of all unlock it top let me take around 80 and bottom let me take around 100 similarly come back to the mobile preview so in the mobile preview as you can see i think everything looking quite perfect let me click in this and from here i have to come back to the content so for alignment for the mobile i am taking it center remaining i am keeping as it is click in this and come back to the advanced option for the mobile unlock the padding and padding top let me take around 10 pixel and after that you have to click in this and margin top let me take around minus 80 i have to give the minus sign okay as you can see i need more minus padding so let me increase the value a little bit yeah i think 110 will be the perfect now click in this one because i think i have to increase the bottom padding let me take around 120 and for the top let me take around 70 after that i have to click in the edit option come back to the style so here you can see the spacing let me increase the spacing little bit that's look good click in this and let me increase it little bit i think minus 115 will be the perfect for here remaining i am keeping as it is next order to do you have to click in the update option once it updated i have to click in this click in the exit to dashboard from there again i have to click in this double option after that i have to hover on the woocommerce and after that i have to click in the settings option in the woocommerce setting i have to come back to the advanced option scroll down a little bit so here you can see the my account page first of all i have to delete the default one and now i have to search for the page let me search for my account so here you can see the my account page click on that 
and after that you have to click in the save changes so it's done here you successfully change your my account page i'm ending the video tutorial here if you have any kind of doubt always you can ask me in the comment section i'll definitely help you if you really like this video please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you subscribe my channel that motivate me a lot to create this kind of content thank you and have a nice day